What's up, mobile gamers? It's Drones or Gigs. Today, we're going to be reacting to the budding love update in the arena news from T3 Arena. So, I'm going to skip over some of this here just because I did watch the last few, the first few seconds just so I can make sure there's not like something super loud. So, there is kind of this aspect of it. So, skip that real quick. Will happen in the next few weeks. We're calling this update Budding Love. Lovely. So there you go. Update they just told you. Content, Should have new captions on here. There we go. Some of your suggestions. My so apologies. Now, let's take a look at all and the T3 new Arena, the their devs of are really good at making sure social media Instead is heard. Day, so really excited for these coming events. events. Hopefully Love what we see in this video is really good. Like I said, I've only seen just that first part with like the music so I could see how loud the video was gonna be. Like the withering petals KO Really excited for this. The snowfall KO fizz. Um, that was kind of disappointing. So hopefully this one is a lot better. Hopefully the petals are a lot bigger when they fall because more than likely it's going to have a rose and then the petals are going to fall down kind of like Beauty and the Beast. So I'm really excited for that. So we'll go ahead and keep going. I like this, especially if you're a fan of Black Clover that has the, the Blue Rose Knights is definitely something that I think a lot of you will like. Star Coins is awesome. I am so excited for this because they've been really kind of lacking in the Star Coin department, especially because in the last event it was. Oh, here, hang on. We'll, we'll look at this real quick. This is super cool. These cute little babies are hidden in the map in every match you play. They love sleeping, but they love meeting new friends even more. So cool. What you need to do is to find Molly and Ollie and wake them up. They'll be really glad to meet you in all the different game modes. Bond Trials is another lovely event in the new update. So that's Bond cool. Trials if you guys saw the last the event, they had the Sindri Rage Balls. So this is kind of a similar thing to that. The Bond Trial is really cool. It encourages you to play other legends. So if you'll look at this, you can receive these roses and you can play matches. So three matches in any mode as Skady, Gloria, and then um, it'll have different ones. So the other ones is play a match as Gloria and the other ones win a match as Gloria. So I like that they're encouraging you to play more heroes and it looks so far like all the heroes they're encouraging you to play as are the ones that you get right away from the progress path or from just, you know, opening the game and you get Skady as the first hero. So I really like this. Really looking forward to the rewards because a lot of the rewards last time were not as good as they could have been. In the previous update, it wasn't kicking in the last update, but we'll bring it back in the budding love update. Now, this is really cool. The hero drop rate boost is probably one of the best things about this event. Now, I myself did not notice it had a problem because I have all of the heroes. So I can't actually use the hero rate boost, but for those of you that are new, it was probably not very good because you were opening a lot of boxes. So if you guys don't already know this, you should save your boxes all the time. Save your boxes until the very end of this season or when they release something like this. So I would be saving up my boxes, and then if I didn't have some heroes, I'd open those boxes once I have the, the hero rate boost. That way I can get all the heroes I want, because then if you can change you change them. So let's say you want Fort. So you you say, Oh, I want Fort, and you go to the rate boost, you pick Fort, and then you open some boxes and you get them, and then you change your rate boost hero to somebody else, and then you have a better chance of getting all the heroes. So it really is good. It helps a lot of new players. And this also helps a lot of new players. So we'll talk about this here. Defense, is the three times trophy challenge. Trophy cards per day. These cards will win you three times the trophies for every trophy match you win. Now they had this Make last sure time and it was super awesome. You boost. play one game and if you win and get MVP, Valentine's your trophies are basically These tripled Valentine's and you can rank up your heroes really numbers. easily so it helps to so get better at the heroes that you're using and make them higher so you get more rewards now, in the rank settlement. Let's take a look at our Valentine's All right, Day so they just go over this for like a couple seconds, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. We try our best to do as much as we can with love. 
Now, let's take a so look this at is really cool. The new features, the the new features are very good. Decanceled that is the Judex skin there. So you can see that they're going to show the skins from the new event. They're going to show them during the gameplay. So that's why I skipped them because they show them for like a half second and then they go on to the next thing. So the cancel ult button I'm surprised they're putting in because it's a very cluttered skin for some players. I know for me, I have a lot of buttons. So I probably won't even be using this button because I don't want to clutter my skin unless I can put it in the top right corner maybe so I might do that we'll see um, this is a really cool feature uh, Apex Legends actually removed this feature when I was playing Apex Legends back in the day they removed it so now you can't see when people expect you which kind of sucks but it's a lot cool in this game because it's a lot more useful to know if somebody's watching you because that means that more than likely that person's waiting so that they can be invited to the next game so if you don't know you can go to your friends list and you can spectate the player that you're wanting to join and it'll send an invite at the end of their game so that's really cool and then on top of this subject of invites they actually have a way to mute your invites which is super good for the content creation and the pros and stuff like that um i don't have a lot of friends yet so obviously you guys can friend me whenever you want i'm i have my t3 badge number somewhere on the on the channel but go ahead and friend me if you want and i'm probably not going to use this unless i get a ton of friends who are always inviting me because from my perspective i actually don't get that many invites because i'm not very big on youtube or anything like that so i'm not too worried about that now you can manually turn off incoming requests if you just want to chill and do your own thing hmm. Hall of Fame rewards. Now you this I'm super super excited for because right now for me I have not used my Hall of Fame because the first one is a big rumble box and so I want to get the coins out of the way so that I have all those and I can save the rumble boxes for when they release a mid-season hero in the next season. So quick chat problems that's just a small bug they're working on. Well club member list and, and visual jobs. bugs so that's Since a kind of a small change so i like the small changes that they're putting in yep okay so i'll talk about this for a little bit i actually do have an older device not like terribly old like maybe 2018 phone or something like that i don't even know um but i do have a lot of internet problems and a lot of the visual bugs that they're saying so i kind of try to make sure that when i record i I'm in like the best room in my house or, or whatever, or, um, for, since I'm in college, I have an uh, apartment, so they have a little bit faster internet, but it's not as comfortable in the, in the room that has the good internet. So it's kind of a catch 22 with some of these older devices, but I'm really excited that they're trying to optimize it for older devices and, and fix these problems. Cause a lot of people are talking about, oh, the game crashes all the time, which I totally understand. I have the same issues. Um, so little little small issues like this is good to fix. I like all the stuff they've added so far. The cancel button I may not use, but apart from that, all of these are super good. Yes, the less less crashes for sure. I'm hoping that that works. So that we can know the exact devices that need to be further optimized. Ranked changes. All right, so I probably Ranked will talk about this the least out of all of these changes, just because I'm not a very, like a ranked player per se, just because I don't have a lot of time with college and a job and all that kind of stuff. So the fact that they're raising the ranks is really good because there were a lot of players in like the lower ranks when I did play, because I played ranked for a little bit. Let's see if they'll show. Now, many of you competitive players are and with the professional rank mode are all this. There we go. So those three tiers, let's see if we can't back this up right here. So they're introducing professional matches. So I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about this because these three tiers, I have not even made it into. So I'm in like the gold tier and there have been people in the gold tier on my team that are just absolute bots because I don't have a lot of time to play, so I'm low ranked, and these guys are low ranked because they have just got the game, and they don't even have like the passives on any of the heroes and anything. So a lot of the 
lower tiers and the middle tiers are really cluttered. And then what happens is the higher tiers like these tiers, so the red one's superstar. So if you just kind of cut this in partially in two thirds, these first two tiers are almost have nobody in them. So a lot of people have been complaining that they can't find any matches and it takes forever to queue into a match because there haven't been a lot of those higher ranked people. So I'm very interested to see how they deal with this because a lot of the higher ranked people don't even get to play ranked because they have to wait and play for a certain time period in order to actually have people in ranked. So really hoping that they combat that and hopefully the addition of a new tier will lighten the load on some of the middle and lower tiers so that people are allowed to play with the people that are similar skilled to them because a lot of people have been complaining that the smaller tiers are just too cluttered for you to actually get anything out of ranked and then the higher tiers are just insane but this professional ranked matches the as you can see right here challenger points challenger shield and rank protection are all disabled now i'm i'm hoping that they do a reverse of this for some of the other stuff so like the this is nice for the higher ranked people but the problem is in the in like gold in like gold and stuff if you lose one match you go down and it takes so it's so hard to win a match because all your teammates are so bad and the enemy team always seems to be really good for me that okay so hopefully this is what they're talking about the ranked matches are pretty this difficult score, for them we'll to balance we'll because of all the people that are in the lower ranks that, so the new algorithm will also give you a much more accurate placement hmm. based on your skill very interesting in a part so of placement score we've also removed placement match requirements for veteran players players to okay in not i'm pretty sure since it was the first season that i do qualify anymore. for this so I'm, i'll probably be in bronze right away rank but set based on the rank you i'll let them talk here in the previous season Tea Crystal Shield event. In late February, this special event will launch to help new players catch up in rank mode. During the event, you receive up to two Tea Crystal Shields daily. Mm. These shields will protect you from losing your rank stars in case you lose a match. This could help. All right, so I will talk about this for a second because I did notice this as somebody who very rarely plays ranked or some of the lower ranked players that I've talked to that. You know, they just aren't very good because they just got the game and they don't have a lot of heroes. But the ranked shields that they had, you only get like one of them. They're very, very difficult to get. And with how often you lose a ranked match in like gold and platinum, at least in my experience, they're almost not, they're non-existent. Like you'll get one and then that's it. Like you'll lose it almost right away if you lose a game. And I wish that you could actually choose when to use it. Because there's a lot of times where I was in gold 4. And they have like tiers for each one. And if you... So if you lose, you don't get to choose when you use it. So you could lose in like the third piece of gold 4. Because there's four pieces in gold 4. So you can lose four times. And then you get demoted. And so a lot of times what would happen to me at least is... I'd finally get the shield because they're really hard to get. I'd finally get the shield. I'd lose my next game and lose the shield. And then every time you lose, you lose. And then you get demoted and you don't have a shield to use. So I'm really excited they're doing this. I personally think... Sorry about that, guys. It looks like my recording actually crashed. So what I was saying before was that I'm very excited for this. And I think they should make it permanent because those ranked shields are very hard to come by almost impossible to even use and you don't get to choose when you use them so a lot of people will get the shield and then they lose the next match and then they can't use the shield to protect them from demoting and i think that either they introduce something that means you get like two chances to demote so if you lose and you're going to be demoted you just get an automatic shield or they should introduce these shields into a permanent feature so that you always have them so 
Hopefully they do that, but we'll see how they introduce this. Maybe they're just testing it. So very interesting. Everybody knows I'm on the top of the leaderboards globally. So not going to talk too much about this, but it's very interesting because a lot of the regions have so many players. So that'll really incentivize people to grind ranked, I think. So that's cool. Cool little change there. This is what I'm looking forward to, so... Okay, I expected that, so... Interesting. I thought they would have changed the damage, but... Hmm. Well, making him easier to counter is definitely good. I think reducing his snowball HP is very good. It looks like that is actually the end of the video, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the balance changes that they had right here so they are changing zero kelvin so they're nerfing this guy right here they're nerfing his snowball health which is very very big so if you'll know anything about my zero kelvin guide the best strategy for him is to actually hide behind his snowball so we'll stop it here there we go so they're reducing his shield and his snowball's hp so i don't think he needed a nerf to his shield but I don't think the nerf is going to be like super crazy for his shield. The snowball nerf, I think if they're going to do it, should probably be about half. Because his snowball has as much health as a regular tank. So you're basically, even if you can manage to get through his snowball, you still have to kill the character. And that's definitely difficult. I thought they would reduce his damage for his snowballs, which would have been a bad idea. So I'm glad they went this route. So I know everybody's worried because his snowballs do crazy amounts of damage. But once they get the hitbox fixed on the snowballs, you can easily dodge them. At least a lot easier than you can countering him at this point. But if they fix the hitbox along with this nerf, I think it'll be perfect. Because his snowball HP means that you can stand behind the snowball and you don't actually get hit. Now, I have seen some times where you can kind of shoot at the top of the snowball and it'll still hit zero kelvin but i haven't really confirmed whether or not that is like an intended aspect of the snowballs with any of my other content creators or anything like that so i'm very excited for this nerf i think it's enough that it'll make everybody happy but it won't be like too much to like drop him way down where he does so this nerf is really good very excited for it a little bit easier. I think that that nerf is really good. So I know I keep saying that, but um, he's been a very big topic on all the discussion forums and in the Discord and stuff like that. So having this nerf for him, I think, is a good way to see and check the stats because his biggest strength is that he can just hide behind the snowball. And then once you're about to destroy it, if you can even destroy it, because most people can't. Then he'll shoot the snowball at you, you get like a ton of damage, and then he'll drop a new one. So in my guide, hopefully you guys can check that out. It's down in the guides playlist on my channel. So feel free to drop a sub and check out that guide if you want. Um, it's very in-depth, and one of the first things I say is to use the snowball as cover because he's a tank. He's in the Vanguard class, and using the snowball as cover is his big, biggest strength because a lot of those... Heroes have shields, except for, of course, Victor, because so I'm very excited to see them take that nerf to him so they can take away his biggest strength. But that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. That is the budding love update. So make sure you guys have a good one. Feel free to drop subs and likes and all that kind of stuff. And let me know in the comments if this is the update that you're most excited for. So uh, peace out.